everyone. Happy Friday. I am so excited to share this walkthrough with you. It has been a long time coming to complete this Project Life album. Last year around January, yeah, it was January, I started Project Life Fridays where I would dedicate every Friday to Project Life and hoping to finish 2019. I did finish 2019, but it took me until I think December 31st of 2021 to finish it because of course other projects and just life, right? So I did finish it and now I am excited to share with you this volume two of my nine by 12. It covers July through December. So let's dive in. I'm gonna adjust the camera so that way, that way I get the whole uh, spread in the camera. All right, here we go. Okay. Like I said, it was July that I started this album and I stuck with, I think throughout this entire album, I stuck with Ali Edwards products. So Stories by the Month products. I think I started Stories by the Month subscription when it first came out because I have four stamp sets of the different months. So like July has four stamps now and so does June. So I've been doing this Stories by the Month thing for a long, long time. So this is Stories by the Month and I get all my photos printed through Persnickety. And I keep my monthly opening pages very simple with just photos and usually not words. Then we go in to July. There might be a little glare, but I'll pay attention to that so that way it doesn't, you know, so you can see the photo. I used bright, bright colors for this one based off of this card. I also used the currently, which was kind of like my prompt for the different stories that I had. The next one is 4th of July. I don't think I ever shared this one. I need to print one more photo. But all I did was just use the stamps and then some mixed media paper that I made myself and Scrap and Happy Studio flares. Very simple and to the point. Okay, next spread is July part two. And this one I really struggled with just because of the color scheme. I don't know, I, was, I would think I was making it too hard on myself, but I was trying to use up my July Stories by the Month stash, and I eventually did that. I went with like the pinks and the yellows and the oranges and kind of uh, used some digital cards as well. I believe that's from the Light Story Kit and these uh, plastic suns, which I absolutely love. And this angle right here, just to share, is one of my favorite angles to do uh, with my children as they grow. Obviously, it's getting harder and harder. Can't do it with my son anymore, right? But I can still do it with my daughter a little bit and just capture her holding my hand. And I get the best shots. So some real life photos right there of summer and the kids going to camp. So I just made a six by 12 insert with cardstock and going to the community pool with some friends and a bike ride with my husband. All right, so this is, comes to the end of July and I just used some recap photos that didn't make it in the monthly spreads. You can see this was a very action-packed month with lots of bike rides and community pool swimming, summer camp, lots of fun. Then I open into August and I believe most of this, yeah, all of these are just printed digital cards and I added on puffy stickers and word stickers. This is August part one. Loved using the stamp to kind of make uh, my own little highlights of the part one and also kind of break up this big bold card used lots of stickers and chipboard and all the bright colors. Lots of fun making this one. Next one is the kids going back to school. I don't think I ever shared these in process videos just because I was uh, trying to move the process along. But this, these are all cards that I made on my own. They're from the Learn Story Kit, I believe. I just changed the colors to kind of make my own color scheme based off of what my kids were wearing. And since this school year went into 2020, obviously, I am so happy I got some uh, photos with the kids and their teachers because that was so special. 
This one I never shared either just because it has all my daughter's friends in the photos, but I used my Cameo to cut this out and then a few more of these circles and just used that throughout this page to make kind of a quick birthday page. Next one is this one based off of this card right here. Love this green, yellow, blue combination. Lots of great photos this week and my daughter and mother-in-law share a birthday. Well, their birthday is two days apart. So we always have like a birthday celebration together, which is a lot of fun. And then we wrap up August and this one I did something different too. I split the photo right here, which I really love. Used some more of these half circles and extracted them from the journaling card and also uh, extracted this, I believe. It says more time doing this. So it was really, really fun to kind of put together this page. Also did something different for September and the opening page because I decided to do a three by three pocket page to open up the month since we started September by going to the zoo. So it was really fun to uh, document the start of a month a different way. So a long time ago, I was a guest designer for the family story kit. So this was kind of a overview history of our family and I really love how it came together. This was a design team assignment for LA Studio when I was on the design team. And I think this page, like this whole project in general kind of stumped me because I wasn't sure how I was gonna move forward because after this album, I didn't, or after this spread, I didn't use any Ellie Studio. And I was like, well, do I take this all apart and redo it with Ellie Edwards? Do I leave it? Do I try to include more Ellie Studio? In the end, I stopped overthinking it and just left it like this and carried on, right? That's the simplest thing you can do, right? Just carry on, stop overthinking it, just move on. So I do really love this page with all the bright colors based off of this card and all the different ING prompts as well. We go into the second part of September. Loved these big cards right here with the big words and played off of that. Love this show. Have you guys seen this show? It is so good. Glow. We watched that, like, I think there's three seasons, but it's about 80s women wrestlers. Hilarious. Used a big jumbo card. My daughter and husband had like a little outing, so I just stuck their uh, photo strips there. My son being ridiculous with the little suction ball things and sticking them to his face, saying that he was an alien. All right, moving into October. This is the recap for September. I only used up this card. It is one of my all-time favorite Stories by the Month cards, and I just, I don't know, I kept hoarding it. But I found a home for it, and I used it up, printed this card. It was red, so I printed it orange. And then at the middle or sometime in September, there's National Daughter's Day and Son's Day. So I put together a collage and just printed those out to add to my album. Start of October, I did my shelf right here, start of October daily, and then layered on a title. Love how that came together. October part one, based off of this card, I just, I love October and I love the stories by the month kits. They're um, such a fun color. Extracted the blobs to kind of make my own card right here and used two bold cards here to balance out this four by six. Made a digital card here and uh, stamped this repeatedly. I also took a really old card that said the story of right now and cut that apart so that way I could use it in different sections. October part two, this one was so much fun too. I used this bold colors lots of bright bold colors but it's kind of like rich fall colors so it's perfect and i just printed out my journaling from the digital kit which made it come together a lot quicker once again i loved these big cards and this one had the ing so i went ahead and used that 
Next page was I did for a color cast design design team assignment. Document all the different fun activities that we had. We went to a festival, had donuts, a school carnival, and um, just having the best time in October with all the different community events. So Halloween, this one has a process video. I'll go ahead and link it up in the eye. But my mom was here. I think this was our last Halloween together. It was our 10th Halloween celebrating. And then my mom moved away. So sad. But we loved our tradition of getting together every Halloween. And I did a flip out for the title card and added a 31, I think, from the December Daily Kit. So that was a lot of fun. And then just used a mix of all kinds of different Stories by the Month kits. And did lots of stamping even on the back with all the bats and the houses which I believe are from the cozy uh, add-on lots of fun documenting all of Halloween moving into the end of October I used up again more old stash things and then built two cards right here a lot of these photos were just taken on the same day but I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and use them. And it made for a wonderful uh, ending page. Start of November, loved this card and this one. So then I just did a cluster of stamping and the printed digital chipboard that I had. November part one, I used the Together Kit, one of my favorite kits. I've used it so many times. So I did a close-up of my daughter, which I loved, made this card I think this was a digital card I cut in half and then this flips out so you could see two different trees and a bunch of different stories about the month. A photo of my husband and kids going out with some friends, my daughter's project, another summary card, did lots of uh, stamping and clustering with the different leaves. Any chance I can use leaves I will do that. November part two, I went with giving thanks for all of this and just went kind of light on the journaling. We started watching the Karate Kid as a family. My daughter was actually enjoying it for the most part. I do have an insert for a school play, but I'm not going to share that obviously, but I have the insert and then I clipped to the top the tickets for the play. Documented three things there, family and friends, because we had lots of get-togethers during the second half of the month with Girl Scouts and uh, Thanksgiving break. So lots of fun during the second half of the month. The next page was super fun to make. I took the transition story kit and I switched a few things, changed a few colors, and also added in some adventure digital stamps to make a page about going to the Davis Arboretum, which is just a gorgeous place that we like to visit every once in a while. These pages are all about Thanksgiving. I did a three by three on this one, which I really enjoyed trying out that size. Didn't do journaling because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I did do a little bit of journaling for the uh, second Thanksgiving we had with my mom and called it done. Okay, then we get into the end of November. I did one of these ING cards, stamped a phrase and pop dotted it. Next is December and I love December. December is just the best. Added in a bunch of digital pieces, chipboard pieces, word stickers, puffy stickers, pretty much everything except the kitchen sink, right? Next up is part one. I used a mix of December Daily and also Stories by the Month. So whatever I could find that I could use from my stash, I used it up so that way I could get this project done. The next one is about picking out our tree. I just did, did two simple journaling cards to talk about it and fussy cut out some of the uh, holly branches, added in a four by six of the family. This one was about cycling with my husband, made it very simple, quick and easy. Part two of December used stories by the month, really old kit. I can tell by this color or this card and this card um, just stuck with the cards uh, to help me get through my journaling. So I did remembering, just listed out some 
things to remember from the month. And this one was the story. So I just kind of did a recap of what the second part of the month included. Also used up several of these phrases and did a flip. Next page is kind of just a, a kind of like a two filler pages, but I wanted to include a few extra photos of some activities. So that's what I did. These are, uh, I think all December daily cards. I don't know how these all wound up like this. I don't think it was supposed to be like that, but whatever, we're gonna keep moving forward. And this is Christmas, obviously, kept it very simple, no journaling, it's all in December daily. Last page, you guys, and that is a wrap on this album. I did blues and blacks, got a 31 from December daily, and there you go. I know this was a longer walkthrough, but I hope that you enjoyed. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye.